In 21st century America, so many people live in the core inner city where there is no green space. Many kids live in an urban world. Where I live, there used to be trees back there, but they knocked all the trees down. Cut off from nature, childhood becomes an inside job. The culture in the United States has created kids who stay indoors. Their parents having to work more, so they have less time to spend with their kids, much less take them outdoors. Children just don't go outside to play anymore. Looking for safety in an insecure world. My children may be home with their older brother, but you stay in the house. Uh, they, they're just a product of their circumstance. Many escape to an electronic realm. They're so connected to that, the tech world that we live in now, where it's hard for them to say, well, I'd rather be outside right now than playing on my video game. Being disconnected from nature, has significantly negative impacts physically, emotionally, cognitively, spiritually. Kids who are constantly in an urban environment, uh, kids that are constantly plugged up to electronic media are at a disadvantage. There's a part of their lives, there's a part of their being that is not being developed or expanded or expressed. Let's go let them go. Pretty neat. Ow. Yeah, you gotta make sure you got them Put it very simply, kids just need to be outside to romp and stomp, to learn outdoor skills, to build their confidence, and to have fun. It's, uh, it's a minnow. Oh, look, another one. Great Outdoors University gets kids out of the city and into nature, taking them on outdoor learning adventures. And then after this, we get to rocks, maybe. We line up volunteers, we hire contract staff and we find some transportation and then we take kids outside. I just made a rock skip all the way over there. We can kind of get the fish up in this area and somebody can catch them. Having them be able to just explore on their own is just a really unique thing about Great Outdoors University. They're able to maybe get off the beaten path a little bit and just connect with something on their own. Oh, got it! There's a lot of people out here willing to teach you how to fish and help you have fun and learn how to do a new experience. All right, close your eyes. And what I want you to do is I want you to put a finger up for every sound you hear. Kids learn how to be quiet, how to pay attention to what's around them. And uh, when they get outdoors, uh, it takes them a while to really get used to the, the solitude and and the quietness, and it generally within an hour or two has a noticeable effect on the way these kids behave. They realize that there is something other than, uh, than the environment they're immersed in day after day. You know, when it comes down to it, Great Outdoors University is really about connections connecting kids with people who are passionate about the great outdoors and who by sharing that passion then reconnect the kids with the natural world. Hey, good. Oh, that's a nice fish. Catching fish is nothing new for volunteer Roger Hammeter, who's fly fished all over the world. Way to go, James. Today he's rediscovering that passion by sharing it with kids like James. Yeah, I've, got, I've caught six of them. It's really exciting and like, instead of saying that someone else caught it, you can say yourself that you caught it. You know, when I grew up in the 50s, I mean, everybody had a more rural lifestyle and there were kids that went fishing with each <laughs> other and, you know, that was back in the days that you left home at eight o'clock in the morning and you came home at six o'clock at night and nobody was worried about you and there wasn't crime and there wasn't all this other kind of stuff going on, no drugs. I don't know, it just is giving these kids some of the innocence of that time that we don't see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> giving them connections that can last a lifetime. We want the kids to have fun and to learn about nature, but also to be able to connect with nature and love that day so much that maybe they'll grow up to say, I want to be a park ranger or a biology teacher. Just something that really, um, you know, connects to them and that they'll be able to maybe take back to even their home with them and teach their friends about. Ooh. Oh, got him! Pull it, pull it, pull it! 
I'm Ken Tucker on Tennessee's Wild Side.